Good day. Welcome to Endurance Room. We're back in North Jersey after a good week in Pennsylvania. Things are a little interesting here. We went grocery shopping yesterday and it was a madhouse at one of the stores we went to. I noticed right away that everybody was piling up on the toilet paper and the Clorox and the cleaning supplies and just the overall atmosphere in the store was really interesting. Anyway, I thought I'd show you guys some strength secrets. This is its really not a secret, but a lot of people don't seem to know about it. It's real old school. It's something that the old time strong men used to use to allow them to put up the heaviest weights they, they could. And it's quite safe, it's super efficient, and very, very, very effective. It has the structural benefits of triggering your, your tendons and connective tissue to adapt rather than just your muscles growing. This is important because in bodybuilding, powerlifting, strength training in general, uh, a lot of injuries are incurred when the connective tissue doesn't support the muscle development. The muscles are stronger than the parts that are holding it all together. So I don't know if you've ever seen what a torn bicep looks like or you know what that does. It's, it's pretty awful and it's something to avoid. So this style of training helps to build up the whole structure and develop those tissues, makes them very resilient while increasing your max strength. And I think that's something important right now, being strong physically, emotionally, spiritually. So check it out. This is called partials training. This is, this is what I'm going to be using today, but you can use pretty much whatever you got, barbell, kettlebells, whatever you got. I've got my weights on a loading pin, which is just a steel pipe, maybe one and three quarters inch diameter. And on the end of the pipe is a little cap that was threaded on and welded on. It cost 15 bucks to get the parts to get the the loading pin. Right at the top, I've got a little pin holding it together, and I'm gonna chain drop down through to hold my ring. You can you can buy these. My friend John Oka helped helped me make this when I was in Maui a couple years ago. I, he showed me how to forge it, and I got to hammer this out in his backyard. It was a really cool experience. I made a pair of them, but I'm choosing the one today. In a nutshell, with this style of training, you're using the end range movement. So say you're doing a, a bench press, you'd just be using the top of the press, the very top, you know, one to three inches of the movement. That lets you use maximum leverage to lift the heaviest amount of weight safely. It lets you support the weight on your structure so your bones are going to adapt, the connective tissue is going to adapt, and your muscles will grow, especially if you're feeding them properly. Check it out. I'll just do a couple sets so you see how it goes. And that's all there is to it. So I just did a couple singles and then, you know, some alternating sets, just alternating left to right. But that lets you lift a tremendous amount of weight. You'll just be stronger because you'll be moving safely. Your body will feel comfortable doing the movement and you get strong really, really fast doing these kinds of exercises. So I'm doing it today with a single arm deadlift using the ring on the handle, but you can do it with a barbell, you can do it with kettlebells, dumbbells, whatever you got. The idea is just to use a heavy weight and use the end range of the movement. So you can do it with a squat, a press, a deadlift. Basically it's up to your imagination. 
but if you're just looking for efficiency and to get really, really strong, this is definitely worth checking out. The benefits are awesome. You can totally improve your, your max strength and build your, your physique, your connective tissue in a relatively short amount of time. And considering the amount of time it takes to get benefits, like I just pulled that, you know, uh, three times on each side right now. And for today, that could be my total workout and I'd be done. It works every muscle in your body doing a deadlift. You're using, you're using your grip, which is challenging your nervous system. You want to train your grip. The stronger you get your grip, the stronger you are, hands down, period. You've got all these nerves in your fingers and training those and conditioning them to hold on to something is really, really beneficial. So I was using a ring today, but there's a ton of different tools you can use for these. I'll show you some of the stuff that I got. This is a handshake tool my friend John made for me, the same guy that helped me forge the rings. You hold it like this and it really challenges the thumb. This is the Anaconda 4 and it's a wide pinch. Also trains the thumb in a, a wide open position. It's a very challenging tool. This is the Iron Mind Rolling Thunder Handle. It's a PVC plastic handle, two and a half inches in diameter on all bearings, and it spins, which pulls against the thumb. So if you get your fingers working against your thumb, the thumb's usually the first thing to fail in your grip. The stronger you can make your thumb, the stronger you are. One more here is a hubcap pinch tool. So you're, you're gripping it like like an eagle claw. This tool lets you simulate picking up a weight plate by the center hub that goes around the barbell. Well, there you have it. It's a quick intro to grip training, grip sport. And like I said, I think it's important to be strong mentally, physically, spiritually right now, more than ever. Wish you guys the very best. Take care and talk to you soon.